The Sith Eternal were a cult that resided on the dark desert planet of Exegol within the depths of the Unknown Regions where secretive and mysterious cultists venerated Darth Sidious and revered the dark side of the Force and followed the ways of the Sith, even after its demise. The reach of the Sith Eternal was vast and went far beyond the veil of the Unknown Regions. Steeped in ancient traditions, they used rituals designed to mine the secrets of the Force, they delved into the nature of phenomena such as Force bonds and dyads in the Force, and believed that the galaxy was theirs to rule by cosmic right. Due to its remote location and inherent veil of secrecy, Sith Eternal chose Exegol as its base by the era of the Galactic Empire, and had his underlings began to experiment with cloning technology in a bid to extend his lifespan and also with genetic machinations, leading to the creation of various artificial genetic constructs, known as strandcasts, such as Supreme Leader of the First Order Snoke as well as the Emperor's cloned son, who sired a natural-born Force-sensitive daughter called Rey. The Sith Eternal constructed the Zeistan class star destroyers comprising the Final Order, which would become the largest fleet in galactic history. The Sith Eternal continued to remain hidden in the Unknown Regions during the era of the New Republic, which was where the spirit of Darth Sidious exiled himself to after he cheated death into a cloned body. The Sith Eternal strove to prevent their master from dying again, and resorted to the science of gene splicing in hopes of building a more suitable vessel for his dark essence. None of their endeavors succeeded in producing a viable host for Sidious' soul, however, and he was forced to rely on life support machinery in order to survive. In addition, the Sith Eternal raised a generation of children not only to embody the cult's values, but to serve as elite soldiers, officers, and fleet technicians in their military as intended for their aspiring Sith Empire. Although they were not strong with the Force, the new generation was just as devoted to the dark side as the one that preceded them, and believed that the galaxy was theirs to rule by cosmic right. The Sith Eternal's plans came to fruition by the time of the First Order Resistance War. After many years, their fleet and army were ready for deployment when Sidious announced his return across the galaxy. By then Snoke had fulfilled his purpose by dying at the hand of his apprentice, Kylo Ren who, as Vader's grandson, was heir to the powerful Skywalker bloodline. Using Snoke as a proxy, the Sith Eternal had groomed Ren to lead their forces as heir to a new empire. However, Ren renounced their cause by returning to the light side of the Force as Ben Solo. After the Sith Eternal destroyed Kijimi, the Resistance went to Exegol to prevent the Final Order's launch. The cult was ultimately destroyed along with their forces and the Emperor in the Battle of Exegol, preventing their goal to establish the eternal reign of a reborn Sith Order. <laughs> 